mind if you sit this one out. My words but a whisper, your deafness ain't shout. <laughs> Hello, it is your friendly purple fat black cat back for uh, Stranger Creations that I have made. I have realized the other day I haven't made one of these since the winter. Oh no, what has the fat cat been doing? Many things. Creating things, but not showing them. But we're showing them today. So, today I'm going to show you some jewelry pieces that I have been working on. And some canvas pieces that I have been working on be fun. So first I thought I'd show you guys two bracelets that I have finished. I like making these, they're fun to make. So here's the first one. I love using these gemstone beads. I know you've probably seen them in some of my other videos. Hello. Almost matches the fat cat hat. But I just, I love making these. They're fun. This one was fun because I got to put a little, little lavender bowl. And you can just it's a nice little one. You can slip it on your wrist or you can take the bow off and like twine it on your wrist. I have one like that, but with these colors. I love these colors, they're very summery to me. And the fat cat enjoys some summery things. Yes. So there's that. And they're just both wire, just fairly thick wire with beads. And if you do make one st a style of bracelet like this, let it sit for a minute, because otherwise it will spring like a slinky and you will lose your bracelet. It will become a slinky and you might be sad. So just be careful with that. Next thing I am going to show you is a, a style of necklace that I think I've shown on this before, but not in a very long time. So I figured I'd bring them back. And it's this style of necklace. This one actually kind of does have sort of a a main pendant as many necklaces do, but it doesn't have to be the center of the necklace. I just, when I designed it, I designed it that way, but it doesn't have to be. But it's just all these little beads with, I think they're called jump rings. I've heard people call them jump rings in between. And this is a long time inducing style of jewelry piece to make but it's fun and I always like how it comes out and I get a lot of compliments on these I make these fairly uh, frequently for family members and friends and I do sell them on my Twitter and my book of faces and if you'd like I, I should probably put that I will put them in the description if you want to check either the bird app or the book of faces art page not my personal page but my art page Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is a pair of earrings, because earrings are fun. There are these little blue moons, and they are doing a dance. Okay, that's better. Now you can see a little bit. They got a little face in there. I love these beads. They're so cute. And I love a good lunar themed thing. And I just thought it was fun, because the blue is like, Blue Moon, the song, but also they make me think of the ocean. Again, with the ocean and the fat cat. I don't know why. It's just a thing that happens. Again, with, and speaking of cats, I got these super cute, they make me happy, little cat beads in the past couple months and made some black cat inspired earrings out of them. Because I love a good panther kitty. And they're just little cat faces. Aren't they cute? Can you see? They, they're just little kitties. And that makes me very happy. So I can be the fat cat and wear the silver cats. And that makes me set, make me happy. Um, another pair of style of earrings that I have done recently are, and I like making hoop earrings. It's fun and different. And I was playing around with wire wrapping. There are some amazing wire wrapping jewelry artists uh, that I follow on Twitter. And oh my gosh, they're talented. I, I don't have the dexterity to do that. This is about as close as I can get, but I'm really happy with how these came out. 
and I, I made these ones and also I think purple and I also made green ones but these are my favorite I like this dark red it's not obnoxious like holiday red it's this pretty blood red maybe if you want to go spooky with it but I'm really happy with how they come out and they're fun because they look heavy but they're not they're actually quite light which is good because the last thing you want is super heavy earrings like literally trying to pull your earlobes out of your head that hurts okay. the last two things i want to show you are two canvas pieces and you might have you probably would have seen these if you watched my uh art showing vlog that i did i think in april sometime in the spring i think both of these guys were on here but first is this little rainbow shroomy guy I love little mushrooms. I think they're cute and magical and fairies like them and the fat cat likes fairies and plus the fat cat, cat likes rainbows and everything they represent. And I just thought it was a cute little kind of mushrooms and silhouette and it was fun to do because it makes me happy. It also kind of looks like it's raining rainbows which is fun. Wouldn't that be a beautiful day? Multicolored rain. And the other one I wanted to show you is this little flowery boy. I was having fun with the colors and ended up sort of accidentally making this really pretty, uh, almost corally pink color. I'm like, well, I want to use it. What can I do? So I painted some pretty flowers. And the funny thing is this one is darker. That was totally by accident. I had actually, the fat cat had made a mistake, but it ended up working really well. I kind of like the hue, the, the, the difference in hues and I'm really happy with how this one came out and these two currently live at my house they are for sale but they currently live at my house because the fat cat has so many canvas pieces so they are living at my house until someone wants to bring them to their house and I love them they're my babies all the things I make are my babies the fat cat's babies so I do hope you enjoyed the little creative things that I have made with the bracelets and the earrings and the canvases. And if you've made anything cool lately, please let me know. Link it to whatever social media thingy you use. I would love to see your stuff. And thank you for supporting me and my stuff. I will link the bird app and the art page down below somehow some way i will do that thing if you want to check it out on the social medias but thank you for watching have a gorgeous day and say awesome friends bye bye